Welcome to this educational video on how not to pee the bed. Bedwetting can be a common problem among children, but it can also affect adults. If you're someone that struggles with this issue, you're not alone. Don't worry, there's no reason to be embarrassed. In this tutorial, we will go through some effective tips and techniques to help you stop your bedwetting and finally get a good night's sleep. That was for the off chance that somebody out there was watching this with their speakers on and somebody was nearby to listen to it. I hope you got embarrassed. I'm looking at you, Max. Anyways, on to COD. All right, so recently the season two roadmap was released showing everything that we'll be getting in the next season. And today we'll be going over a little bit of uh, what's being added into multiplayer specifically. And before I get into the complaining hour where I just start to complain about every single thing on there, uh, let me go over some things that they actually like scratched off my list for season two and some things that are actually pretty good. So starting with modes, we're getting ranked play, which is cool. Uh, I'm not too big into ranked play, but I know some people are and it's a whole new mode coming in. So you know what? Bring it. And one of the main things I was really asking for was party modes and they actually delivered on this. Uh, we're getting infected, we're getting gun game, and those are dropping at the beginning of the season. Same with grind. Then end season, we're getting drop zone, one in the chamber, and all or nothing. I'm not too sure what all or nothing is. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, older mode from like some other COD, but I haven't seen it before personally, so I have no idea what's in it. But overall, this game really needed some different modes besides just go and kill people modes. Like we, we needed a little bit of a switch up. What I was really hoping for was infected ground war or ground war infected, whichever way you know, floats your boat. But that kind of seems like a long shot, to be honest. Either way, I'm happy to see some infected come in. And then we're getting five new weapons, which is great. Uh, I think COD can drop more than five weapons uh, update. I feel like that would help a lot, but five's a good number. You know what? I, I can't complain too much about five weapons. We're getting the ISO Hemlock, which is an assault rifle. Uh, we're also getting the KV Broadside Shotgun. I haven't heard of that one before. Same with the Hemlock, besides like Apex. We're also getting a crossbow, which is going to be fun, unless that trophy systems block the bolts. Otherwise, it's not going to be fun gonna be very frustrating at the camo for it we're also getting the dual swords that i can't really pronounce i think it's like dual let me look dual kado cheese I, I definitely have that wrong i'm sorry i butchered it and then we're also getting the tempest torrent marksman rifle and we're also getting a new raid which I, I don't know how that really factors into multiplayer but it's over in the multiplayer section of the the roadmap i, I think it's more like spec ops but i i guess if you're playing with friends or whatever it is multiplayer I don't know. I'm not here to uh, argue the semantics of if it's multiplayer or not. But then we're only getting two new 6v6 maps. One of them is Dome, which is all right. It's whatever. I'm pretty sure it's already in El Masra, So, you know, we probably could have a bunch of other maps added in, but they decided just Dome for, for this season. And then we're getting Museum. If you guys remember, Museum was in the beta of this game. The beta. You know, the thing released months before the game actually comes out. So... We've actually seen this map before and it's been done ready to go this whole time and they haven't put it in the game. Now, rumor has it that's because of legal issues that they're using that location because it's an actual place somewhere. I, I'm not going to act like I know where, but it's an actual museum that they used without like their knowledge or consent or whatever. And then they had to take it out. And now that they have the like, okay to put it in the game, they're like, you know what? The, here's one of the two season two maps now. And if that isn't true, I either way, it's ridiculous. Because this map has been done, been ready to go. Map that I have personally played on in the beta. A lot of other people have played on in the beta. A map that's been done. Could have been put in the second the legal issues were resolved. But they waited until the season 2 dropped to just toss it in there. Like, here you go. Here's some new content. And to be honest, the only thing really new in this update is some of the weapons. Because these are all game modes we've seen before besides all or nothing to my knowledge. And these are all things that should be in the game at the start. Like in my opinion, when a, when a new COD comes out, I think it should have like all the classic maps or some of the more popular maps to start. That way you can hold people over. We're not having them have to play like shipment and shoot house constantly. Because I'm pretty sure every single modern COD since Modern for 2019 has some iteration of shipment. And you know, I, I love shipment as much as the next guy, but you can get a little bored playing on the same map over and over and over again. But if that's your only option without map voting and the only thing that really gets a playlist, that's your only choice. Otherwise, you're going to be hopping into like random domination games, backing in and out of lobbies, trying to find the one map you want to play, which is so ridiculous and a very like anti-player way to run this game. Like I shouldn't have to put in uh, like as much time as it would take for me to play like a few whole games just to find one map that I want to play without a playlist. But to this game's credit, 
Uh, back when they did a little poll on Twitter saying like, would you want shoe house 24 seven or shipment 24 seven? And then they ended up just dropping shoot the ship. Under that tweet, I said that I wanted there to be a shoot house and shipment playlist individually. That way you can pick whatever map you want to play. And we don't just have people backing out of like shoot house games looking for shipment or vice versa. And they actually did that. So now we have a shoot house and shipment 24 seven playlist, but that is such a bare minimum thing that they can do if they're not going to add in like map voting. And in like what, five days, something like that, or whenever the update comes out, I guarantee the shoe house and shipment playlists are going to be gone. And we're going to have like a dome museum 24 seven playlist. So with them adding new content, they're going to remove ways to play the previous content. Basically, the only way you're going to be able to play shoe house and shipment is if you randomly get it in like uh, you're searching for Dom or something. Like, I just don't understand why they decide to not put anything into the only paid mode of this game. They put all their effort into the free war zone and as a, a side effect dmz because i feel like whatever they put into war zone it's so easy just to add it into dmz which could be the argument for them adding in the things from war zone into multiplayer but uh, it seems like they don't even care about multiplayer anymore also in case you're wondering what we're doing in multiplayer right now we're doing the weapon mastery challenges here for the 74u uh, I'm on the Orion one and we're about 100 kills into it. And if you're extra curious, this is the weapon build I'm using for the 74U that I found on Google. And while we're on the topic of reused features from previous CODs or reused things being added as new content, they're bringing back hardcore, which is fine. I feel like everybody wanted hardcore to begin with, but they're completely removing tier one in the process. Now, I personally don't have a problem with this, but it's like, why try to change it up in the first place? Why completely take out hardcore or not include it just to have in a new mode to remove it and bring in hardcore as something new and, and to like advertise to help out your new season. Like that's just so ridiculous. Hardcore has been like a staple in COD as like the secondary mode to like core. It's just like the the more fast paced or, or just different way to play core. And now they're just bringing it back like it, it's some new feature and I, I'm not too happy about it or at least the way they're going about it. I don't know. There's not a whole lot to be happy with if you're a, a multiplayer fan of COD right now. And on top of that, in the roadmap, some of the largest things over on the multiplayer side are them advertising new bundles and skins, which is just so stupid. Now, I'm not going to act like I haven't bought any bundles in any COD game, especially this one. I've bought, in, I, I bought in, like that's a word. I bought three bundles in here. Two are Vaporwave. Just because I'm, I'm a little bitch, I'm a sucker for Vaporwave. And then I bought the Damascus one to see what it was like. But it's just so infuriating to look at that Season 2 roadmap and have the largest things over on the multiplayer side just be like, oh, new operator skins in new Tracer Pack bundles. Be ready for them. It's like, we just want some more maps that you already have ready to go, apparently. Just throw them in the game. And then something that I saw on Twitter, it was from the Ghost of Hope. Uh, he's pretty big on, on the COD Twitter scene. I, I see his tweets pop up a lot. And he had a really good point here. He said, High Moon Studios made Asika Island the new resurgence map. I'm definitely butchering the pronunciation of that. The Treyarch made rank play. Raven's working on supporting Warzone. Sledgehammer's working on the 2023 expansion, which I haven't even got into. And he said, Infinity Ward is doing what exactly to contribute to the overall game and its life cycle because if they're just adding in modes that have been in previous cods seems pretty copy and paste to do i'm not a game dev i'm not gonna act like i know what goes on there but if they've had it in basically every cod it seems pretty simple to do they're adding in maps that are already complete which is probably like a flick of a switch somewhere and doing like nothing else i think they might be fixing the ui a little bit but at this point like why bother so it's like what exactly are they doing to make multiplayer successful it's like they completely gave up on it and they're moving on to the next thing like, it's so annoying. And at the start of this game, I don't know if this was ever confirmed or it came out from like the like year end, like investor calls or something that a lot of those like big Twitter accounts like Modern Warzone and like Charlie Intel uh, like get their way into. But this game was supposed to have like a two year life cycle. Like this is going to have a two year development time. Well, not development time. This was developed for like three years since the last Modern Warfare 2019. I'm pretty sure all studios were involved making this. But this is supposed to have a two year life cycle where there's not supposed to be another Kai game released until Treyarch's next game. And now it's coming out that there's going to be another game coming late this year with the beta starting in October being made by Sledgehammer. So it seems like after not even one full season of this game, that they're like, yeah, no to your life cycle for this. The player numbers are too low. Uh, let's just go ahead and throw out a new game for these dumbasses to buy. 
Like, I get it. Warzone's probably a little more popular, or I don't know about now, but in recent years has gotten more popular than uh, the multiplayer section of Call of Duty. But to completely abandon it in favor of Warzone is absolutely crazy. Because, don't get me wrong, Warzone's cool and whatever, but I'm not, like, the biggest Warzone player. I mainly play the multiplayer of COD. And them just completely stripping this down to only be, like, a mode for people to grind camos and levels and weapons just for War Warzone is pretty fucking stupid. Especially this being the version of the game that you have to pay for. Like I said, Warzone and DMZ are free. So if you paid the $70 or even more than that for the Vault Edition of this game to play multiplayer, you are getting shafted like this game had so much potential going into it it had so much hype for it everyone was down for it at least in the cod community most people i won't speak for everybody but it seemed like everybody's like you know what this game has the most upside to it out of like most of the modern cods to come out and then they got one season in they didn't see people eating out of their hands for giving them nothing and they're like well uh gotta abandon this project i i hope maybe they're they're like putting their heads down and they're working real hard for like a season three something but by then it'll seem like it's too little too late like maybe they saw all of our, our comments and concerns but it was too early or too like close to season two's release that they can't really do too much about it and they're adding in like all the easy stuff for season two so they can take more time and work on stuff for season three but honestly i don't see it happening i feel like they royally fumbled this game and there's it's gonna be hard to come back from it but I will say the one thing Infinity Ward has done that has been good, at least for me, in the current state of this game, is they've made it so I've gotten so bored after getting the camo progress done, like all the all the mastery camo done, that I've gone and played other games. Because without this game not doing as well, I would have never picked up Elden Ring, and I am obsessed with the game. I, I cannot stop playing it. Uh, like, I made one video on it, when I was about like 10 hours into the game and now I'm like 75 hours into the game and have like 70 hours of footage to go through to make the next video. Like it, it's such a good game. I'm so glad that I got a little break from COD to go play something else because I feel like I've missed out on a whole lot and sacrificed a whole lot of, uh, you know, gaming time on some other titles because I've spent so much time playing COD that they fucked up this game to the point where I decided to go and play some other stuff. So shout out Infinity Ward for showing me Elden Ring, basically. Because if I wasn't really making content for this game, I probably would have stopped playing after I got Orion. Like, there literally is nothing for me to do here. Like, these weapon challenges, I, I, I've i broken this into the ground. I, I've, I've beaten this dead horse alive and then back to death about how the, the mastery challenges for this are just so boring and give you nothing in return for it. Like, what's the point of getting a thousand kills with each weapon just to get a little charm saying you did? It's not like anyone's going to notice that charm and be like, oh, damn, you've used, like, you've gotten that many kills with this? Like, you, you put in the work to get this weapon charm, emblem, and calling card? It's like, nobody gives a fuck about that. They, they could have made it some, like, sick-looking camo. Even, not even, like, a, a sick-looking one. It could have been, like, Obsidian, the most dull-looking kind of mastery camo out there. And I would have had a lot more fun grinding it because you get to show off what you put the time in for. Like in a kill cam, no one's going to notice your little small weapon charm. And even if they do, they're not going to know what weapon is on that charm. Like I could just complete the knife one, which is the only one I have completed and throw it on my guns. And at a glance, someone would be like, oh, you got the weapon mastery for that. Oh, right, cool. And they, they wouldn't even know what weapon it's for. I don't know. I hate to hop on here and be a negative Nancy about the game, but there ain't too much to be positive about. That being said, I'm still going to play the next season. I'm going to see what's going on with it. I'm going to try to have fun with it. But I do not like the direction COD is going in, and it is for the worst for a lot of uh, us multiplayer folk. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, I think I got my thoughts out about season two. I'm not even going to finish this weapon mastery today. I'll do it some other day. But uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, thank you for supporting me. Uh, it truly means the most. Uh, you guys have forever changed my life, and I will see you in the next one. Later.